IBS in the 1990s was it's in your head. It's a psychological problem. Uh, you need to go see a therapist or you need to be on an antidepressant. And that was the, the rote for the 1990s. Again, thinking within a box and not expanding. What we've done over 20 years is said, no, IBS is a microbiome disease. Antibiotics work. But more importantly, this blood test and this connection to small intestinal bacterial overgrowth as a cause of IBS is revolutionary for these patients because for the first time we're saying IBS is not a functional disorder, it's an organic disease. We have a positive test, a blood test that says you have IBS and that makes it organic. And, and for patients who've gone around the block, 10, 20,000 in copays, uh, getting colonoscopy over and over and over again, seeing another gastroenterologist with no answer, and three days later a blood test says, no, I'm sorry, you have IBS, you could have done that at the beginning and put your mind at ease and yes there's therapies for it and we can move on and you know that is a big deal not to mention one other thing is it saves healthcare dollars the sooner you make a diagnosis for a disease the cheaper the entire disease space becomes because you can focus in on the patient rather than more investigation more investigation more investigation so it helps the patient be more comfortable with their disease and that it's real and it's not in their head it helps their pocketbook, it helps the health insurance, and of course it helps the clinicians decide how to treat. So that, these are all win-wins on both sides of the equation.